Welcome back to another Prairie Sunset Ranch Farm vlog. My name's Aaron, and thank you for tuning in, my friends. So I'm gonna be reviewing a Shocker Hitch Air setup right here, and I'm gonna give it a rating from one to 10. I'm gonna tell you some of the good points. I'm gonna tell you some of the bad points. I'm gonna tell you whether it was worth my money or not, and you be the judge whether it's the product for you, but this is just my honest opinion. I'm not affiliated with this company. I paid good hard-earned money for it, so let's get into it, peeps. We are heading to uh, get some sandbags. We gotta clean up my mom's uh, place and my sister's place. They're along the river and their place almost flooded this spring. So we gotta go grab those sandbags. And to do so, we're using this uh, Sure Track dump trailer, 14 footer. I wanna show you guys how this shocker hitch works. Let's get to work. Let's go get those sandbags and uh, test out this hitch. Well. We're at mom and dad's. There's a few dad already took a load. And we got a load up beside there from my sister's place. But uh, yeah, this river flooded real bad. It was going, uh, it came up to the, water, the garden shed and actually submerged it. And it came right up to that uh, flower bed. So we had the sandbag here kind of in a pinch. At the same time we were flooding, so. <laughs> about how it went, but uh, we better get to work here, get these loaded. Gonna work that son of a gun. Round two. You're doing a stand-up job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank Don't you. you love coming out and hanging out? I love it. <laughs> I feel as though I get younger each time. <laughs> well, there we go. You got the bags? You want some there? We're loaded up. Done it. Gave her, gave her this morning. No rest for the wicked. We're gonna dump this load here. So we're gonna put the sand where this part of the driveway is kind of destroyed. Boom. This is how you do. Let's see. That was easy. Now it's not all dolled up and cleaned up and shiny because I use my stuff. This thing was used a lot already. This was used for a full month. It's pulled a lot of weight. <laughs> Basically, I think the max weight capacity on this rig is 12,000 pounds. And uh, basically it's very simple, right? You have these two pins. You can set the height up your ball. It's got a two and five sixteenth. I think this side's a two, two inch on the other side if you flip it over. So anyways, it's very simple. You got your little uh, uh, valve stem here and that pumps up this airbag that's right there. And uh, once you got the weight on the trailer, you basically take your compressor and you fill this up till it's about a one eighth compressed. Uh, this is the bushing that uh, is key to getting the proper ride and let the hitch actually do its job properly. Now, I want to tell you a few good things about it. When pulling heavy loads, for example, I had eight steers on my cattle trailer right there, and they were bump, jumping around, bumping around, I immediately noticed the side-to-side -side sway was eliminated by probably 90%. I was really shocked. But even more so than that, that lunging feeling, you know when it feels like it's, it's diving on the tongue of your truck. That was as well, nosely decreased, probably 90%. And to boot, there was no rattling. There was just no rattling, no sound. It absorbs everything. Uh, I did find myself going a little quicker than usual. I had to slow down, set my cruise because uh, 
I, it didn't feel like I was really even towing a trailer. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about my truck setup because it, my truck setup might have a little bit to do with the comfort of the ride, but uh, I do have my uh, airlift bags right there. So I have an in-dash compressor and I had it set. So it's set around almost 60, but for uh, when I was on the road there with the other trailer, this is for the dump trailer, I got a bunch of garbage in it. But for my Cal trailer, I think I had it about 50 pounds in my airbags. So in the back end of my truck, I still have my factory leaf springs. And for this, I actually filled up to 45, 45 to 48 pounds. Now, although it was great, it was really good. There was a couple key things I don't like. I'm gonna to touch base on them right now. Now, on this trailer, you have these big breakaway chains, safety chains, right? Now, I like to put them on reversed. Now, I find it rubs, it rubs on the bag. So, that bag takes up a lot of room under there. It doesn't allow enough room for the chain to hook on. So, I don't know, in the winter, it'll be rubbing. I'm sure eventually it could rub through, cause damage. As of right now, it isn't, it's fairly new. But that's one issue I had with uh, with this uh, with this hitch setup. So basically, the airbag interfering with these. Now, I'll show you my other trailer, which it was perfect with. See, same with this one, it'll do the same with this one. Now for this trailer, this worked great. No interference with the bags, etc. So I might have to switch over all that trailer, that trailer, that all the trailers with that style of safety chain eyelet hookup. But that's my one complaint about this hitch. Second complaint was is when I loaded it up, you don't know how much air to put in it, right? Because you don't know how heavy a load you're putting in. But I found like it was maxed out. I had it pushed all the way back here. And I was uncomfortable with that because I don't know if it was causing damage to the airbag. So basically, you have all the weight on it and you don't have it compressed yet. So just say you load up in another yard, you have to drive back, put air in it. So you could carry, I guess, an air compressor with you. But uh, what I did, I just pre-pumped it up a little bit just so there was a little bit of air in that bag so it wasn't just going flat, bombing out. So that's one thing, think about that. So basically, put it on your truck because when you slide on your truck, you have to have that bag uh, fully decompress so I basically let all the air out I put my knee on it let all the air out then I slid it into here and uh, once I got in there I pumped it up a little bit so I probably put like I don't know 20 20 psi in drive back to the yard then I pumped her up so that's that problem eliminated I guess right so here it is that hitch worth the money you paid for it absolutely I I believe I can tow more weight more comfortably with less wear and tear on that big girl. Now, I was really hesitant about even buying it at first. And no, I am not affiliated with this company at all. I paid for it just like everyone else. This isn't an affiliate uh, video. I wanted to give you my honest opinion. Now, for those of you that are considering buying one, I wouldn't hesitate. It is day and night from pulling with a regular ball, uh, ball hitch. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. It's it's awesome. Uh, I really liked it with my livestock trailer. With livestock, whether we have horses, sheep, uh, you know, cattle, we haul everything, right? And I'm telling you, you can really customize the amount of air to your your uh, to your load, and really give yourself a heck of a nice good ride quality. Like you're talking probably equivalent to a gooseneck. Maybe not quite as smooth, but pretty damn smooth for a bumper pull. That's for sure. So, of a scale of one to 10, how happy am I with this purchase? What does the old Beef Baron give it score-wise? I think I'd give it an eight and a half. It's a pretty good product. Why is it eight and a half? Because it was expensive. Um, what, what exactly did I pay for it? Quite a bit, probably too much. I think I paid 700 and some dollars for it, 700 bucks, roughly. Um, I can't remember. You know, but uh, pretty damn good product. I'd say if you're on the border, if uh, you're not in a pinch for cash, go out and buy one. You won't regret it for sure. Shocker hitch air, beef baron approved, baby. Hope you enjoyed it. Hammer that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. 
Well, this is Aaron signing off. We'll catch you next weekend for all new Prairie Sister Ranch Farm Vlog. Be there or be square, my friends. Bye for now. Have yourself a wonderful week.